Hello everyone, I hope everybody's doing okay. Last time around, uh, we plot, we used the plot functionality. We imported this uh, plot functionality from matplot library and got our data uh, in a nice uh, plot, okay? So that's just uh, one thing, but not always are we going to be typing in our data. We would need to connect our collab session with some sort of a data source so we could use that data source and then plot our data or do some sort of analysis on that data okay using Python so I'm going to take you to another notebook with a very specific code and uh, would need your attention here because first we are plotting uh, we are we are going to be using uh, the plot functionality but first we're going we're importing the matplot library as a plt and you could see around here uh, let me just turn on the line numbers just for uh, clarity show line numbers here okay so yeah from line 13 to 19 we are in fact handling some plotting right what we see in green in hashtags are in fact comments that are there for your understanding of what's happening in that following line of code okay so line number one is a green comment which tells me I'm importing uh, the matplot library and then I'm importing the pandas library in line 5 notice I import pandas as PD and then I use this to get access to the read Excel function and this is in fact reading a specific uh, file, BMI dash data set. The dot .xlsx extensions tells me that this is in fact an Excel file that it's uh, reading in. And this entire data, this entire data that we get to read in, gets stored in DF. Okay, so that is the variable where the data is stored in. We then print this variable just to see what's in this what does the data look like in its raw form just as if we just as we've imported it from Excel and and then we do uh, what we've done in the last video too we go ahead and plot it okay so we call the plot functionality on DF okay we have our data set in DF and we plot it we specify what do we need to plot so why here by specifying y equals BMI dataset we in fact specify what we are looking to plot and this is in fact the column header in our Excel file okay we need to specify exactly what column are we looking to uh, to plot so let's go ahead and do that and once we've done this plotting we can always use the describe functionality on DF to describe our data so let's see how does it even look like uh, should this run uh, gives us an error gives us a file uh, no such file or directory error so it can't find BMI dash data set well if it can't find BMI data set we need to see did we upload it so we go to our file section we don't see any uh, BMI dash data set file so we could always use this button to go ahead and upload our file if it when it's uploaded we're going to see uh, this right here and now we have it here the spellings match as it is and then we can go ahead and run this cell and see if it works and yeah it tends to work we have this now this first print is the print DF right it tells us that the column in our Excel was BMI dash data set this is what the values were okay so this was the starting value this was the ending value it tells us how many rows and columns there were in our uh, data set then comes in the plot do we see the plot yes we see the plot uh, did we specify the BMI dash uh, space data as the title yes we did BMI space data BMI was the Y label student number was the X label BMI on Y axis student number on X axis and we've got BMI data of all of these uh, 66 students then came in our df.describe functionality the describe functionality is right here and it gives us a description of the data it gives us the count how many values were there in the data set it gives the mean gives us the standard deviation gives us the minimum value in the data set 
uh, as well as the maximum value the max minus uh, the minimum will give us the range of our data the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile their difference gives us the interquartile range and then the 50th percentile which is the median in the data is also available to us so this is a nice description a summarized version of uh, what this data really is what it looks like and here we have this specific code to essentially load our excel file in colab print what it looks like plot what it is and then describe it with the describe functionality